time for another lunch video here in Lima. Today we're filming downtown, so we popped into one of the few restaurants that was willing to serve us lunch at 11 a.m. because we're already starved, and you know, when we're hungry, we get hangry. So here we are. We're going to be filming a video about Ocopa Arequipeña y Papa da Huancaina. Both are potato dishes served with sauces, which are kind of similar, but from different regions, so we'll be sampling those. So while I'm sipping on my purple corn juice known as chicha morada, Sam is having beer. Yes, I'm having a beer and I'm mixing things up today by getting a cristal. Normally I have cuscania, but I thought, why not? Try. Only half a glass? Yes. He's and pouring half a glass. And I like it foamy. Foamy. <laughs> really? Or you just don't know how to pour it? That's the question. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, I do know how to pour it. And that's decent beer. Yeah. Better than Cusqueña? No, but it's still good. <laughs> Sam is going to be trying papa a la huancaina. Oh yeah. And that looks fabulous. And I'm getting some extra sauce put on top here Ooh, because you can that. never have too much of that. Just one potato? You're only grabbing one potato? Well, there's three, so I thought I might share with you. Oh, how caring. Maybe. 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 Okay. So the dish Sam is trying, papa la huancaina, originated in the province of Huancayo, and that's how it gets its name. Yeah, so let's talk about the ingredients here. So the main thing here is the sauce. I mean, of course yeah. this is a potato dish, but this is a sauce that is made out of cheese, milk, and ricotto. And, and ricotto, that's the yellow ají pepper. Yeah, exactly. And this is something we're very familiar with because it's often served at your aunt's and grandma's house. So yes, we love this a lot dish. Of that, huh? <laughs> Stuff. This is easily one of my favorite Peruvian dishes. Like, yeah. I just love this sauce. And then Peruvian potatoes are, are some of the best in the world. So it's like you're combining this amazing sauce on top of mm -hmm. really well prepared potatoes. It's amazing. And the cool thing about this dish is that you can find it just about everywhere in Peru. You can find this along the coast, in the Sierras, and even in the jungle. So yeah. And speaking of presentation, this is usually served with black olives and hard-boiled eggs. And, and these are look, small ones. Got I think these are quail eggs. These are quite we've got them here. Little. Do you like it? Oh yeah. Maybe I won't be sharing after all. So it is now time to try the second potato dish, and that is ocopa arequipeña. If you have a look here, we can see the plate. And it's a little bit different from the previous one. This sauce is a little bit more green, but it is still served with the hard boiled eggs and the, the black olives. And the two main ingredients to make this sauce are ají and huacatay. No idea what huacatay is. I've never seen this before. No clue, not very familiar with, with the food here in Peru. Um, but aside from that, the sauce also has a bit of onions, garlic, milk, fresh cheese, some crumbled crackers and peanuts. So it should be a bit more crunchy than the one we had earlier. So I'm gonna grab a spoon here. So time to and serve help yourself. Myself. Serve yourself up. Some of that. There we go. Let's grab a bit more sauce so we can really taste it. Alright, time to dig in. Yeah. Oh, and one thing worth noting, if you don't want to go through the trouble of making the sauce from scratch, you can go to the supermarket here in Peru and they sell these little packs that have the powder already pre-made and you just have to like add a little bit of milk and water and voila, instant sauce out of a bag. Well, let's try this. Mm. Yeah, so this one's a bit sweeter than the one we had earlier. A lot sweeter, actually. A lot sweeter? Yeah. Wow. In the past, when I've had it at my family's place, it's a bit more crunchy. Because I guess they, they don't really chop their peanuts that, that finely, so you can still kind of taste them. But this one, it's very smooth and very creamy. 
and it's a bit spicier than the wankaina we had earlier. So kind of spicy and sweet. It's good. It's good, but I still prefer papa la wankaina. That's just a classic. So after that potato heavy meal, we decided, you know what, we've still got room for dessert. So we've ordered this beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, and it's basically arroz con leche and masamorra morada. So this would be rice pudding. And the other one's kind of like a purple corn pudding that's been thickened with cornstarch. And it has shredded coconut on top as well as cinnamon. So that looks and, really nice. And the, the running joke on our channel is this looks a lot better than what you find at Wong's. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember remember a year ago we did... We tried it at Wong's we tried and it everyone at Wong's. was horrified. Yeah. It was fine. So this is a fancier dessert. Mm. Still piping hot. But wow. That is good. A lot better than Wong's, huh? I suppose. We had it cold at Wong's. This one's like freshly made. Can't beat homemade. So is it really sweet or? Mm, not overly sweet, but I mean it's like rich and creamy. It's really nice. And do you like the half and half combo? Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should just swirl it around. Time for price points, Sam. Sure is. So that meal came to 81 soles. And I have to admit, we're keeping a couple secrets from you. First off, we ordered a big salad that we didn't show in the video. And the second big secret is that I got a second dessert. That was one of the best desserts I've had in Lima or in Peru. It was so good that I didn't even want to film it. I'm like, just leave me alone. Let me just, just let me eat it on my by myself. I don't want the camera on me. So, All right, so in US dollars, what would 81 soles be? So you'd be looking at just over uh, about 20, under $25. So yeah. yeah, pretty good value and really tasty. Man, we are full. We, I, especially me, I really overate in this meal. Time to go walk it off. 